What's up, Leo? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the second half of June. That's June 15th through till the 30th. This is for my Leo sun, moon, rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Leo sun, moon, rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of June. Any love messages for Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus, second half of June. What can you tell my Leo? Leo, sun, moon, rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of June. Okay, guys, feels good. King of Wands, Four of Wands, Strength card. Okay, the Devil, Four of Cups. Okay, the Lovers card, Five of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, so there's a situation here that you're really struggling to gain some level of stability in, okay? I think something's throwing this connection off with the Devil card. This can refer to um, toxic habits, addictions, um, unhealthy attachments, outside um, toxic energies as well, okay? With the Four of Wands, this is someone that you really see as your long term. If you're not already in a commitment, this is someone that you see for the long term, Four of Wands, but you also want stability. And what I'm getting is there's something that's throwing this connection off and it's got you disappointed, Four of Cups. Maybe you're feeling a bit emotionally rejected or you're just feeling like you don't even want this cup anymore because it seems like there's a lot that's sort of maybe interfering with the connection. It's hard to let go of this person though, Leo, okay? With the Devil card, this can also be, just, like I said, unhealthy attachment. Um, even though maybe it's not feeling like it's quite right. With the King of Wands, this could be you and a masculine energy or you're dealing with another Leo, um, Aries or Sagittarius. Um, otherwise, this is someone that you have a lot of passion with, okay? I'm feeling like there's a lot of, a lot of fire between you and this person, especially with the Devil card. This is like, you know, can often have a very strong sexual component um, that's hard to let go of, but you really do want something that's stable. And what I feel is that there's some stuff going on that's really testing your strength. This is you showing up in your own read, Leo, with the strength card. We've also got the lovers card and the five of pentacles. So someone in this connection is feeling disappointed and left out in the cold, okay, because of whatever's going on here. Um, the lovers card to me means also there could be some choices and decisions that need to be made with regards to this connection. It's like duality. Maybe you're in two minds about this person, Leo, okay? Um, Gemini energy with the lovers card. We've got Capricorn and then we've also got uh, Cup. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And we've also got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy with the Pentacles. Tell me more about this Four of Wands. Queen of Swords. Yeah, Three of Swords. Like I said, Leo, you are very much focused on stability. That's what you want, okay, with the Four of Wands. Um, but the Queen of Swords, this is someone that's ready to cut out what's not aligned with their happiness. And Queen of Swords, that I feel is your energy. You're very much in your discernment now. You're very much thinking about what's going to be right and correct for you for the long term. Three of Swords means I think that if you haven't cut this person off, you're seriously considering cutting this person off, Leo. Um, with the Three of Swords, there's heartache between you and this person. There could be for some of you outside energies. There could be a third party situation. Maybe that's that toxicity or influence of other parties that's just for some of you for others of you it's just that this is really wearing you down and testing your strength the page of swords is here as well so this is a lot of thinking you're really in your mind leo about this situation tell me about the strength card and the page of swords tell me about the strength card and the page of swords if you've separated from this person there's still a sense of holding on to one another so if you have already kind of ended it because the three of swords can be separation it's like you still keep tabs on one another it's like you haven't completely let each other go um and you still kind of watch each other you keep an eye on each other that kind of an energy nine of cups is here so this is like this person, you feel like there's someone that makes you very happy or you have a lot of fun together. Nine of Cups can be fun. It also can be the alcohol card, again, with the devil and the Nine of Cups. I don't know if there's some kind of um, addiction component here, guys, but that's just for some of you. Um, so you're keeping it, you keep tabs on one another. You fi find it very hard to let each other go. It's like a decision needs to be made about whether to continue sort of um, connected to this person or whether to maybe sever things altogether, leave it behind. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords here, you know, Seven of Swords, it's like there's some distrust between you and this person. It could be that there was 
um, you know, some sneakiness or something like that, or you feel like things weren't quite right. Um, and that could be why you're making an abrupt decision with the Knight of Swords that you want to cut things out or like how you want to move ahead. The Ten of Nails here, yeah, this is like painful ending. So for a lot of you, you have either ended it with this person or you want to end the pain. <laughs> okay, guys, sorry, it's not a lie to read. Um, it's just what's coming through. So I feel that you're sort of at that point now, Leo, where you're deciding what you want to cut away so that you can move towards what makes you happy. Um, let me just have a look at this person specifically and their feelings and intentions for you. Okay, Leo? Let's have a look. What is this person's feelings and intentions for Leo, please, spirit? Okay, Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, the Star, King of Rods. Okay, so we've got the King of Wands again, guys. All right, so this person, they, they're still holding on to hope for you, Leo, okay? They want to talk. They want to communicate. Queen of Swords has come out. They're seeing you also as Queen of Swords, so maybe they, they know if you haven't cut them out that you're ready to kind of cut them out. Maybe you've had words with them, Leo. Maybe you've been quite honest or harsh with them in terms of what needs to go or what sort of displeasing you, okay? With the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles, it means they want to come in. They want to start again, basically. Page of Cups is a new path. It's an offer. It's um, not just an emotional offering with the Page of Cups, but the Page of Pentacles, something tangible. Okay, so they could be saying they want to take you out. All right, they want to fix things. Okay, the Star card is here, which really means um, healing. So there's a sense of them wanting to heal things with you. They still have all this passion for you. King of Rods, also someone that wants to take action. So this person, it's like they're thinking about taking action towards you to heal things and renew things. Um, some of you are dealing with an Aquarius with that Star card. Um, but it's really about holding on to hope for you. Okay, tell me a little bit more. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. It's like they're hoping that the wheel's going to turn in their favor. If you've cut them off, they're hoping maybe you'll let them back in or that you, know, or that you won't cut them off, right? Eight of Swords. Something's got this person feeling very trapped about the connection. Like I said, with the Devil card, I feel like neither of you can hold on, um, can let go of one another, right? So Eight of Swords, this is like... They, they sort of feel like they're trapped. They don't know how to move forward. They also have some lack of clarity in terms of where this is headed, but they do have hope for the connection. Whoops, what's fallen over? Okay, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles. They feel like with the Three of Pentacles in, in reverse, there's like lack of cooperation. Okay, Leo, um, they do see you with the Queen of Pentacles as someone that they that they kind of want to really work with for the long term, as I said, but I'm sensing that there's a lot of conflict and battles here. Now, for some of you, there's third party energy because the Queen of Pentacles, I'm seeing this could be someone else that they've been committed to or, or um, are committed to. That's just for some of you, okay? Um, but the Five of Swords is then really ready to kind of walk away from the conflict and the battle. Ace of Swords, there's a conversation they want to have with you and Eight of Wands is more about communication. So some of you will be receiving communication messages are having discussions with this person because they still hold on to you, Four of Pentacles, and they've got the Strength card too. So there's a sense of like them trying to get the courage to overcome all these obstacles for a relationship with you, Two of Cups, all right? But this looks very complicated, Leo. Okay, there's a lot of drama here. Tell me, um, Spirit, can I get a Romance Angel for this connection? Free yourself has come out. It's time to take back control of your life. Isn't that crazy? Because we were talking a lot about this devil energy and feeling very bound. So Leo, you need to make a decision about what's right for you. So if something doesn't feel right, you have to cut it off. If that's what your intuition is telling you and do it knowing that you have better coming to you. Either way, if this is the connection, um, you know, and you want to move forward with this, it's time to take back some control, you know? Um, some power because strength cards this is about taking back some control and power over a situation having more balance and reciprocity and um, working with someone to eliminate the obstacles right so you can move forward um, so it doesn't destroy you I'm really getting this kind of strong um, toxic energy okay what else do we have release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so for a lot of you this is your ex it's still kind of hanging around and it's hard to let them go um, and so Spirit's saying it's time to kind of release the old so you can make way for new. I feel that they still want to repair things with you and they, they still hold on to hope, but maybe it's just time to clear the energy. Or you're in a situation, Leo, where you're dealing with exes that are hanging around. And again, that could be what's causing all the drama and the difficulty and the conflict, right? Okay, what else, Spirit? 
playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Well, none of this looks fun, Leo. <laughs> okay, so spirit saying to you, it's time for you to go and have some fun and just enjoy yourself. This is feeling like super heavy. Okay, um, so whatever you decide to do uh, when this person and you have a conversation, um, that's up to you. But just try to like live in the moment and enjoy yourself a bit and free yourself from anything that's not serving you. Okay, Leo. Um, anyway, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment and I will check in with you in two weeks time. Lots of love.